Hey everybody, welcome to Red Tone Studio. I'm Chad Carlson. Today we are going to do some tests with a vocal booth and different uh, panels. We're going to move around to see how they affect vocals during a song, during the speech. So, right now I am in the, about the middle of my studio. It's got high ceilings, um, 30 some feet this way, 20 some feet this way. So it's a big room. You can probably hear all the echoes. Echo! Echo! So we're going to do some singing tests. And then in the back, you can see my panels. I'm going to move them to the front, put them in behind me. We'll see how it tightens up the sound, if it does. And we'll decide uh, what's the best way, if you've just got movable panels, what's the best way to record vocals in your room without a designated vocal booth. And we'll see how that goes and where we go from there. So first, vocal test. You've heard me talking already enough. So let's go and try some singing. This is a AKG C414 mic set to cardioid standard. I'm about six to eight inches away. Let's see how she sounds. You're the kind of trouble I want. You're the kind of trouble I crave. We'll see how that goes. Now, let's put some panels in front and see if that changes anything. All right, so I move my panels to the front, just in front of the mic. Say they're on a V angle, you'll see the picture. Um, these are safe and sound panels, seven and a half inches thick or so, seven foot tall on these. I can roll them around, move them around as I need. I already, just talking, can hear that I've lost some of the echo. Let's uh, give it a singing test. You're the kind of trouble I want. And you're the kind of trouble I crave. So there you have it. Uh, let me know if you like this one. We're going to move them now behind me. All right, so now I've moved the panels behind me. Same V pattern, pretty tight. Two or three feet back. I, uh, I can hear the change now in the room still. Um, there's still some echo off the wall. It should hit the wall, come to the back of the mic where it won't pick it up since it's in a cardioid pattern. It'll hit the panels, but won't come back into the mic. We'll give her a try. You're the kind of trouble I want And you're the kind of trouble I crave Sounded pretty good. All right, now I've got some uh, thinner panels. Well, they're still the same thickness, but they're not quite as wide. I'm going to put those in the front so it kind of makes a box. If I had, uh, these are, these right here are four foot wide. It'd be nice to have two four foot wides, but I got two fours two twos. We'll see how much of a difference that makes. All right, now I'm here. I got the panels behind me. I got the panels ahead of me. I'm 6'4". These panels are about seven foot tall or so. I had to put the front ones up on some stands to get them up high enough. It is uh, quite a bit more dead in here for sure. Um, I like it. Probably good for vocals. Um, by the way, you can check out me making these back panels um, on my other video. I'll put a link to it over here or uh, over, over there somewhere, hopefully. And uh, we'll, we'll go from there. So let's uh, give her a try. You're the kind of trouble I want. And you're the kind of trouble I crave. Pretty good. I think the next thing to do, possibly, if I had larger panels, I would cover up where you're seeing me through here in the back. Um, I could maybe get these in a little bit tighter for an even tighter sound. Another thing would be make some sort of roof for this setup, and then it would really deaden the sound. Let me know uh, what you think, but I think I'm going to throw a moving blanket on top, just because. All right, here I am under the moving blanket. 
I don't know if this is doing much, probably taking out some of the highs. It's definitely dark in here. Let's see how it goes. You're the kind of trouble I want. And you're the kind of trouble I crave. Yeah, I mean, I'm hitting my head, but I like it. So that's about it. The Chatter Red Tone Studio. Hit the comment section for uh, what you think of the test. Definitely hit the subscribe, hit the like, hit the bell, whatever. Hit them all. And uh, we'll see you on the next video. Thanks.